If you wanted to buy an Ionic hair dryer, but didn't want to spend Dyson prices, I think I have one for you. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. I obviously color my hair. I'm a natural brunette with some gray, so with blonde hair, I want to make sure my hair doesn't get dry and break off. My hair is also fine, meaning the individual strands are fine, and my hair is thin, meaning I don't have much hair. I've been seeing all kinds of ionic hair dryers that are lighter in weight, dry hair faster, and use negative ions to make your hair smooth, have good body. And if you have frizzy hair, using an ionic hair dryer helps to minimize frizz. At the time I'm filming, the popular Dyson ionic hair dryer costs $429. But for considerably less money, I have the Alabella Ionic Hair Dryer, which is created by a woman-owned company. Now, I'll pop in some B-roll here. It's my unboxing B-roll showing the beautiful and strong box the hair dryer comes in and show the attachments that come with the dryer. So this hair dryer has a sturdy feel to it and the handle's easy for me to hold. It also comes with a well-written user guide, and you have that here. It's excellent, um, and I'm a writer, so I know good writing when I read it. It's really easy to follow. I'm also impressed with the company's customer service and responsiveness. Next, I'll show you the attachments, the dryer settings, and how I dry my hair after shampooing it. Before I wash my hair, I just want to show you something really quick. So here is the type of plug that this Alabella hair dryer comes with. And I love that it has this rubber holder to go around the cord to nicely store it. And I just can pop that little thing off. And then I wanted to compare to my regular hair dryer. So you can see a comparison on the size Okay, and my bigger hair dryer isn't very heavy. They're about the same weight. For me, most of the weight is in here. This is a solid piece of construction. And I've looked at some other Ionic hair dryers and they've said that the handle is too big for their hand and I wouldn't want that. So I want something that's really easy to hold on to. I love that the cool shot button is here because I hold my hair dryer with my left hand and I like my thumb to be right at that cool shot for when I get the hair dryer close to my scalp. I want it to be cool, so I'll just press the cool button. So we'll come back in a moment and see how this works on my wet hair. So the three attachments are the small concentrator that goes on with a really strong magnet and this larger one or the diffuser, which is awesome if you have curly hair. When I had curly hair years ago, I used a diffuser. And again, so strong and pulls right off. And then the on-off switch is at the bottom. Here you can see it's at off. The top button is for changing the fan and the middle one for the temperature. So I'll show you how this works. So I usually dry my hair without the attachments because I'm always turning my hand. And I think I use the lowest fan setting because it really blows strongly without, but if I go with one of these attachments once in a while, then I'll increase the fan. And the temperature I've been using is 190. So next I'm going to put on some of my L'Oreal Nature's Therapy Mega Strength Blow Dry Cream. This works really great with my thin, fine hair. I'll have a link to that in the description box below. And then I'll dry my hair, but we're gonna speed that up. I comb it out with a wide tooth pick. 
I cannot find these anymore. But these little picks, I guess I could use my really wide tooth comb again, but this is really nice for hair that's color treated and you know, I don't want any breakage or damage to my hair. Okay, and I start out by drying just the hair under my neck. So I just get that under part somewhat dry and now I'm ready for my bag of clips. I clip my hair so that I can dry it section by section and get the most volume as possible. So we will speed this up as I clip it. Okay, now I'm gonna start by drying the lower part of my hair, the lower sections, and then section by section, I'll unclip. It's too loud to say it, but when I got the hair dryer close to my scalp, I pressed the cool shot button right where my thumb is. I press the on button with my ring finger. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. So it is quieter than a regular hair dryer, and I think it dries my hair a little faster. I don't have naturally curly hair, but they say ionic hair dryers, when you have curly hair, you have frizzy hair, it will help to eliminate the frizz. And of course, if you're using the concentrator, it will help if you have curly or frizzy and you wanna get a straighter look to use the concentrator. The hottest setting on this hair dryer is too hot for me. I know one reviewer wrote that it doesn't get hot enough for her, but I think if you have thick hair, the hottest setting will work well for you if your hair can tolerate the highest heat setting. Make sure to check out my review of the Ella Bella one inch curling iron. I'll pop its image on the right side of your screen, tap it to watch it, and I'll see you in the next video.